I'm Vernon Wake from Lalibela Game Reserve. Um, it's a devastating day for for Lalibela and everyone who's involved with with it. You look at the scene behind; it's absolute tragedy, massacre. It's a cancer that's in our society. And uh, today, we just happen to be the victims of this cancer. Um, we are mindful that other properties and national parks are victims every day. I think the total for the year is over 400. So this accounts for 1% of the loss that we've, as a nation, have incurred. It's very difficult not to be emotional on a day like this. Information is still coming in, so it's coming in piecemeal. Um, so we don't yet have the full story. But on game drive this morning at approximately 9.30, one of our rangers with guests um, came across this site. And um, so then, uh, you know, then everything um, was, was con uh, conveyed to us and, and then we got, got hold of the police and the scorpions and orcs and, and everything. So then it all happened from there. So at this stage, we don't see any, um, any bullet wounds in the, in the carcasses which is somewhat surprising. We're hypothesizing whether or not they might have been poisoned. We've taken samples off to Grahamstown to be tested. So at this stage, information is coming in piecemeal, and as we, we're trying to piece the whole thing together to be able to give a clear picture of exactly what happened. But it is, it is quite obvious what happened. We have four rhinos have died, and they are missing their horns.